is a success. I'll track down Prince Rapsi soon enough now. Your services are no longer required. You think you can find the young prince without me, Scarab? I'm the only one who knows his real name. Dear Chantra, you know you want to tell me. And let you cut me out of the picture completely. Please, Scarab, I wasn't born yesterday. I know where he is. Correction, Scarab, you know where he was. Then... then I'll simply wait for his return. And how much time do you have, exactly? That's none of your affair. Why did you come here, Chantra? You can't find the boy, but you can extract the spirit that promises eternal youth. I can find the boy, but I need your help extracting the spirit. But what interest do you have in the boy Pharaoh's spirit? Ah, <sighs> you're losing your looks. I am not! Is that a grey hair? I didn't know a priestess could wrinkle. Silence! There's enough of the Pharaoh's spirit to satisfy us both. I'm happy to share, if you find him before I do. Hey guys, look! I'm famous! <sighs> this is worse than I imagined. Come on, I don't look that bad. No, no. Scarab sent his warriors there looking for you. We confronted them last night. He must have seen this photograph and assumed you'd be there. But I only went there one time. My mom made me go. She's trying to keep him from tearing down that old building. We can keep Scarab from finding you there. You just won't return. Hey, wait a minute. My mom hangs out there a lot. Ah, but Scarab doesn't know she's your mother. She should be safe. No, look, if Scarab's there waiting for me at the Java spot, my mom could be one of those, you know, innocent bystanders who always gets hurt. This is possible, young prince, but our duty lies in protecting you. I'm the pharaoh here, and what I say goes, right? Well, I guess. Yeah, technically. I'm asking you. No, I'm ordering you to look out for my mom. Please. Look, I'm here. I'm fine. I'm safe. Now will you please go protect my mom? Well, things do seem quiet here. Yes, they are. Now go, please. We'll contact you later. <sighs> oh, 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 hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Here, here you go. Oh, thanks. I just started here. I'm kind of nervous. My name's Sean... Uh, I mean, Cheryl. My name's Pre Presley. I know. Sign of the boy yet. I hope our young enchantress is having better luck than you are, Hacker. I'm switching you off. Let me know if you see anything. Well, maybe your young enchantress is having better luck than your young enchantress. 
doesn't have a stupid camera strapped to her head. But Mr. Ludi, please don't tear this building down. It's the oldest building of its kind in the area. It's also a bunch of bricks held together with a little spit. You sneeze hard, and this thing will come right down on us. Maybe you can retrofit. I know people who could help with a loan. Look, here come some more people who want to save this place. Hi, welcome. I hope you're here to protect the building. No, we are here to protect you. Uh, um, I mean, yes, uh, your building. I hope I've got enough muffins. Those four look like they're starving. This is so foolish. But these were our prince's orders. Mmm, orders. I'm hungry. Hello? Servants? Oh. It's a mummy. Get him! Uh, you guys wouldn't have any cinnamon rolls, would you? Guess not. With the strength of raw? Armand's been gone too long. Who's that? Hey, my fault. If you'll excuse me, I'll seek a broom. I'll get the dustpan. I'll, um, well, supervise. Some sharp teas. Uh, so easy. They never stay crunchy in milk. Raph, we need to clean this mess. Hmm, perhaps there are cleaning implements in this closet. Ah! <gasps> Hi. Ah! Hmm. Service people today have no sense of duty. Well, now who'll we'll dispense the food and drink? Hmm, this color matches your eyes. Boop. Huh? Uh, Armand, uh, he always snags my sandwich. Hey, Presley. Oh, hey, Elaine. Uh, Presley, I was wondering. I mean, later today, I thought I might end up at the mall, so... Uh... Cheryl! Over here! Who's Cheryl? Is there room for me to join you? Oh, yeah, sure, no problem! Hey, watch it! I always pack too much food. Would you like to share? <laughs> but how... Where'd all that food come from? I know how to pack a lunchbox. You're sure helping me out of a tight spot. I can't figure out what happened to my usual guys. Maybe they got tied up. We appreciate this opportunity. Well, keep the coffee hot and the cups clean, okay? Understood. Okay. 
You got it. What? you earlier is if you wanted to maybe hang out with me after school today. Maybe we could go to the mall or something? I guess so. I don't have anything else to do. Great! Let me just dump my books and we can... Hi! What's going on? Hey, Cheryl! We're gonna go hang out at the mall! Wanna come? All three of us? Yes, all three of us. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? And there's the card store! And the bookstore, and the ice rink's down that way. And there's the candle place, if you ever need a candle. You sure know this mall. You're so smart. Oh, it's just a... Uh, I, I guess I've been here a lot. Cheryl, it's just a mall. But I'm new here. I've never been to a mall before. Oh, brother. What planet are you from? Planet awesome. What did you just say? Hey, Cheryl, uh, want to get something to eat? Uh, a corn dog, some, some pizza? Mm, not really. This place is too noisy and crowded for me. I was thinking we could go somewhere a little more quiet. Oh, oh, okay, like where? There, that place looks nice and quiet. That place looks nice and closed. So, we can sneak in. Uh, I don't know, Cheryl, that's against the law. Why? We're not gonna steal anything. I don't know. Pretty please? Well, okay, pretty please? <laughs> Give me a break. I'm not going. If you guys want to get arrested, suit yourselves. <clears throat> wow, how'd you do that? Oh, it's no big deal. Um, if you excuse me, I've got to go freshen up. Wait here. Freshen up in here. I've got him. Excellent. Where are you? In the building of the mechanical creatures across from the great covered marketplace. I'll be right over. I feel younger already. This is her day off. Protecting this building brings her pleasure. What does she do for real fun? <laughs> Hit herself in the head with a hammer? Mr. Ludy, please reconsider. To tear down this historical old building would be... Safe. These are inspector's notes telling me the place is unsound. People could get hurt. Hey, I'm not some greedy guy getting rich. I just don't want to have bricks falling on people's heads. Why'd you have to be so nice and reasonable? <laughs> This way, lover boy. Uh, uh, right. Ah! Um, Cheryl, I was thinking, maybe we should just, uh, get out of here. I, I, this place is starting to creep me out. Do I creep you out? Oh, n no! Mm. Uh, oh, not at all. Cheryl, I... Huh? Uh, Cheryl, run! Uh, I'll be all right! Run away? I don't think so. Running is for little girls. <laughs> <laughs> foolish, foolish little boy. Recognize me now. Chantra! <laughs> Hey, kids, where are you going? Is this 
us about that benefits package? A friend is in trouble. What's happening? Someone's in trouble. Let's go help. It was all a trick. Scarab set us up. Then it is our turn to take him down. <sighs> Don't fight me, boy. It is painful for you. No! Uh, I won't let you! You can't win! Chantra, you have to stop him! But I want Scarab to get the boy Pharaoh's essence. It will make us both young and beautiful forever. You think Scarab's gonna share? Come to me, spirit of Rapses, bringer of life eternal. It's working! He is mine! Eternal life is finally mine! What about our deal, old man? Wait your turn. I don't wait for anyone. Uh, wait! Old slime bucket! Stop her! No! It's mine! You promised! And you, feeble cow, were stupid enough to believe me. Now, for my reward. Go, Scarab! With the strength of Raw! Feist? You handle the Shapti. I'll get our young prince to safety. Sure thing. Escort the young pharaoh out of here. Oh. Oh, I knew you'd come. Always. Is everybody okay? Yes. A boy was saved from some ruffians. What sort of poorly brought up child would sneak into a place like this? Wait a minute. Nice booths, plenty of floor space. Chocolates with extra whipped cream. Enjoy! Thanks, Presley. Thank you. For what? For not being mad at me for acting like a jerk. What about that Cheryl girl? Are you sure you want to be here with me and not her? Oh, believe me, I'm sure.
like to get a good night's rest. You slept for 3,000 years. Now, wasn't that enough? Hey, I need my beauty sleep. Nefertina, there's an alarm at the museum. Why does she get to sleep in? She doesn't. Where is she? Maybe she went somewhere peaceful, like the freeway. Wherever she is, we don't have time to wait. With the strength of Ra! I would hate to be in Nefertina's bandages when she tries to explain to Jakal where she's been. With, With the, the strength, strength of Ra! Of Ra. Too late, as usual. Nothing can stop what I've got planned for you, my precious. Drop the rock, Scarab. It's not nice to take things that don't belong to you. Deal with these pests! Guess it's hard to get good help these days. Why, Scarab! A diamond heir you shouldn't have. Give up, Scarab. Hand over the diamond. What a gem of an idea. It's getting away. Back to the Sphinx before we're seen. Did you see that? It was those mummies. They're real, I tell you, real. Yeah, what mummies? I didn't see a thing. But, but they were here. I saw them. Nah, you've been eating too many Dale donuts. Come on, let's check out the museum. I'll, uh, start with the snack shop. But, but I saw them. I really did. Anybody for leftover pizza? Tangling with Scarab always gives me an appetite. What doesn't? A large gem like that diamond is sure to contain powerful magic. But for what purpose? Scarab wouldn't have escaped if Nefertina had been with us. I want to know where she is. I would remember. Actually, I don't know anyone here. A babe like you shouldn't sound so lonely. What do you say we shake a hoof out on the dance floor? Why would I want to shake a horse's foot? <laughs> what a kidder. You know what I mean. How about a dance? No, no. People will stare at me. <laughs> no, they won't. Nobody will even notice you. No, thanks. I really ought to go. You're somebody famous, aren't you? <laughs> Hiding your face like that. I wish it was that simple. Gee, you're awfully wrapped up in yourself. So how about it, babe? Just one little dance. Please, 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 please. Leave me alone! And let's see. Missing chariot wheel, missing dog. Aha! Here it is. Missing diamonds. Hey guys, what's up? Where were you? We needed you. I was so worried I could not eat. Almost. Well, I just wanted to have a little fun, okay? That is allowed, isn't it? Yes, but not when it interferes with our duty. Scarab stole a diamond from the museum tonight. We might have been able to stop him if you'd been here. Sorry. I just wanted to have a life. Shh! Quiet, both of you. I'm trying to concentrate. <sighs> Guide us to the rock that shines like a star. The diamond dust will make me look young and handsome. What are you gonna do? Throw it in people's eyes? No. The dust is a final ingredient in a potion I'm going to use on my face. Those face cream ads always say they make you look younger. But all you get in the morning is a greasy pillow. 
Maybe when I'm finished with the diamond, I could grind you down into a pencil. At last, I'll be young and beautiful. When a crocodile grows wings, Scarab. Give us the diamond! The diamond? You're too late. We would have been here sooner, but we kept stopping at jewelry stores. No spell's perfect. Shabti, destroy them! Hate to run, but I'm late for my beauty treatment. Looks like it's tat kicking time! Being young and beautiful, she's a mummy! Youth is wasted on the young. Uh, it's stuck! Uh, uh, Hang on, Nefertina! Is that you, Armand? Quit messing around and get me out of this thing! Down the drain! No use crying over spilled potion. Allow me. <gasps> Unbelievable! Wow. What? What? Did you do something different with your hair? Very funny. Wow! She looks 3,000 years younger! Before I forget it. <laughs> Jacob, uh, I was uh, hungry. Just thought I'd get, you know, a snack. Yeah, a snack, that's it. <clears throat> uh, Rath, Armand, I was just... Uh, well, I, I heard something. I thought... All right, all right. I was... Well, I can't explain it. I just had to see Nefertina's face again. We know. We felt it too. Something magical is happening here. Perhaps it has something to do with that diamond scarab still. She's... She's... <gasps> I like to dance. Sorry. Maybe next time. Wait a minute. I mean, maybe just one dance. <laughs> what could happen? Hey, check her out. She's the ugliest woman I ever saw. I mean, really scary. How can you tell? You can't even see her face. Just watch. No! You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Ugly? 
You need your glasses checked. She's gorgeous. Nefertina! Ah, it just isn't fair. Cheer up, boss. All you gotta do is find Nefertina, and you can get your potion back. With a face like hers, she shouldn't be hard to find. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Inexplicably Famous. Tonight, we're here with Nefertina, the overnight darling of the modeling world. But she's more than just a pretty face. She's the fashion genius that launched the wrapped look, sending sales of bandages soaring. So that's why she's been gone so much. Come home where you belong. We miss you. I don't think she heard me. I can't me. take all the credit for the wrappings. Huh? It's like I just woke up one day and there they were. Beautiful and modest. Nefertina, the world's greatest beauty. Now, it's got to be the potion Scarab was cooking up. Mm. Then Scarab will be after her. Fad modeling agency. Uh, this is... Ra Ray Sphinx with Vague Magazine. I'd like to set up a photo session with Nefertina. Her face is so beautiful, it's, it's almost like magic. So beautiful. I can't wait to shoot her. the address Nefertina's fan club gave me. We gotta talk her into coming back to the Sphinx. It is just not home without her. Wait, I'll go in alone. I think I can slip in quietly. Are you a friend of Nefertina's? Her brother? Her boyfriend? Hey, well... Is Nefertina her real name? Well, what's with that whip? I'd rather fight Scarab and an army of Shabtis any day. Yes, I know it's a generous offer, but, you know, I'd like to keep my options open. <laughs> there are other movie studios, you know. <laughs> Nefertina. <gasps> Jakal! What? No, 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 it's nothing. Just someone I used to work with. Ciao, darling. What are you doing here? I've come to bring you home. I am home. Do you know how long I've wanted this? Music, dancing, meeting new people. For the first time in 3,000 years, I'm having fun. You've heard of fun, haven't you, Jakal? Your face is everywhere. Magazines, billboards, the magic box. Scarab is sure to find you. It's worth the risk. This is my chance to live a normal life. Nefertina, the limo is here to take you to the photo shoot. Okay. A better than normal life. Your life is with us. Have you forgotten your duty to Prince Rapses? And what about Wrath and Armon? They need you. I need you. I'm late for a photo shoot, Jakal. Close the window behind you when you leave. Good luck, Nefertina. Simply magic. 
magical. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Is this really necessary? The lighting is wonderful, darling. The molten metal really brings out the highlights. 2,000 degrees. It makes your skin sparkle like a diamond. and tough work. Oh, am I glad to see you. Get them! Come on down and play, Scarab! This puts me in an ugly mood. So, you still want us to leave you alone? <laughs> Are you kidding? Being in the spotlight got hotter than I bargained for. Looks like we're a team again. Pardon me if I don't cheer. Welcome back, Nefertina. We missed you! Oh, thanks! I missed you guys too! <sighs> Looks like I let my face go to my head. I guess all the attention almost made me forget who my real friends are. But it was kind of nice, <laughs> at least for a while. I guess I'm ready to get this over with. Mom uses this stuff to take off her makeup. Wrath added a little something extra. It should take care of Scarab's potion. <sighs> I never wanted to be just another pretty face anyway. Way to move unnoticed through the world of children. 
Sorry, boss. But you don't know much about being a kid. I was a child myself once, you know. When dinosaurs roamed the Earth. How hard could... Well, the cap's a nice touch. Silence! Takes great energy and concentration to maintain that form. I require practice. And then I shall catch Rapsis by surprise. And steal him right from under Jakal's nose. You're mine, Carnivon! Shibia? Snooze, you lose, Press. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I thought I saw your sister. Oh, brother. <sighs> I wonder what's wrong. She's my sister. That's what's wrong. Uh, hi, Cynthia. Hi, Preston. Presley, actually. What are you doing? What's wrong? I have to cancel this field trip I organized for the community center. We were going to this, like, bread place for a tour. Oh, uh, how come you can't go? My adult chaperone's flaked. I was gonna get extra credit for my civics class, too. I'm gonna get an A-minus for sure now. What if I dig up some chaperones? My, uh, cousins are visiting. I'm sure they'd love to help out. Really? That is so cool! Meet us tomorrow at 1. Thanks, Presley. That's, uh, Preston. That is so gross. Get real. Come on, you guys. You can't let the kids down. Oh, and you've been a community volunteer since... Since Cynthia Lou is in charge of the trip. It's a woman. I should have known. Hey, if they give out free samples, count me in. <laughs> I am concerned about spending too much time in public. We don't exactly fit in. Hmm. I would like to study modern manufacturing techniques. That's the spirit! Nefertina? Come on, Presley, a bakery? You get to drive a bus. 16 tons of yellow steel. I detest this place. It's so common. Music's kind of catchy, though. Shut up and keep your head down. I do not require assistance. You may go. Huh? Ah, here is the video amusement center. Children are drawn to these devices like flies to camels. Come on, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Jump! 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 I told you to stay. Hey! Watch it, creep! Oh, man. That was my last guy! Mm, what is the proper slang? Become chilled, uh, dude. What? This place is not happening. Where else do local dudes hang dry? Hang dry? Well, most kids either go to the mall or the fun zone. You know, on Front Street. I see. Stay cold, dudes. He must be from Berkeley. Hi, Cynthia. You're late, Preston. It's Presley. I know. Hi, you must be Presley's, uh, cousins? I'm Cynthia Lou, the event coordinator. It's getting really crazy here. Could you keep an eye on the kids until we're ready to leave? I'm gonna call Benny at the bakery. So, Cynthia, now that we're working together... Cynthia? Mister! I gotta go party! Well, what do you expect me to do about it? Uh, uh, uh. That was great! Let's go again! We must hurry. Wait, I... I'm receiving a message. Nice trick. How'd you do it? Sometimes my powers even surprise me. We're leaving now. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I saved us a seat on the lead bus. 
Thanks. Uh, but we better split up and keep an eye on things. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, you rugrats. Get your buns on the buses. Move it, move it, move it! Young prince, this trip shall be your last. <laughs> Mummy alert. What? Where? <gasps> Come on, little guy. You'll miss your bus. I will destroy you. Looks like someone needs a time out. <laughs> you are riding with me. On hand me, you fool. I demand to ride in the first pit. doing an excellent job driving, my friend. Hear how the children sing your praises. Oh I can't stand it. If Wrath drove any slower, we'd be going backwards. Okay, that's it. What is she doing? Children, don't behave. I will turn this chariot right back around. among other things. So, was lunch any better the second time around? That cousin Tina, pretty great driver, huh? We must stay close to Rapsies and strike when the time is right. People, people, settle, hello. My name is Benny, and I'll be your guide today through the exciting world of bread production. The bakery you're about to enter was built in 1883, making it one of the oldest in San Francisco. Question. Do we get free samples? Patience, sir. There'll be a little something waiting at the end of the tour. Score! Now, if you'll follow me. can see the mixing vats, where flour and water are mixed with a live bacterial culture much like yeast. It's fascinating to note that the culture used today is a living remnant of the first batch of sourdough prepared back in 1883. <gasps> Bless you, small one. And um, thanks, mister. After the dough rises the first time, it is kneaded then carried on through to the shaping room. So the dough is alive, is it? Perhaps I can liven it up even more. To distract the mummies? Of course. Spirit of the fields where grain is grown, I give this dough a mind of its own. <gasps> gotcha! We cannot have you getting lost, kid. What would your mummy and daddy think? <sighs> Golly, I guess you're right, sir. The dough from the mixing vats comes down these belts to the large machine on the left, where it is cut into loaves and sent on to the rising chamber.
a few mechanical difficulties. Nothing to worry about. Mechanical difficulties, my tut. This smells like one of Scarab's recipes. Impossible. How could he know where to find the young prince? Whatever the cause, it is not safe for Rapsies to remain. Nefertina, you guide the young ones to safety. We will try to keep the beast at bay until you return. Gotcha. Hey. Come on, everybody, this way. With, With the, the strength, strength of Ra. Stay out here. I'm going back to, uh, see what's keeping the others. We'll be just inside, Prince. You'll be safe out here. Oh, will he? <laughs> this will quiet you, Glutinous Fiend. An improvement. Undo me, you! Do not worry, Wrath. I have got a plan. I fear our fun may have only just begun. Look! Say, that was really something, huh? All that dough? Excuse me, Preston, but I'm having a conversation with, like, our tour guide, okay? So why don't you go and supervise some kids or something? Sure, Cynthia. You can count on me. Everything's under control. Huh? Hey, what's your deal, kid? You mental or what? At last, I have you in my grasp. There shall be no escape for you this time. Look, you little goofball. Go find someone else to play with, okay? <laughs> ah! Little scum bit me! What's your problem, kid? Who the heck are you? You hurt my feelings, young prince. Surely you recognize your old friend. <laughs> Scarab! Ah, now that's more like uh, it. That delicious uh, smell uh, of terror. Uh, you haven't been practicing, boy. Your aim is way off. Nope, I'm right on target. Get back here. You cannot escape. We cannot keep this up. Nothing seems to stop them. We have to think. Now, what breaks down Red Down? I don't know. Uh, but we'd better do something quick. I think these guys are growing. Not growing, Nefertina. Rising. And when dough rises... You gotta punch it down. Come on, guys. Pound them. Well, such brute force really isn't my style. It seems to be quite effective. Robotics will not save you, boy. Whoa! Surrender now, and I promise I will not harm you. Much. A feeble maneuver. You are only delaying the inevitable. Well, that's the last of it. Scratch one oversized doughboy.
Do not speak too soon. Ah, oh, got to be kidding. Okay, this is not a problem. Would you do the honors, Nefertina? Delighted. Let's see Pop and Fresh get out of this one. Hmm. Pity we can't wait around that long. We have to get back to... Ah! The Prince! My Prince! No, he's mine. There was this big dome monster, and then this Egypt guy came and... Ah, kids. Such imaginations. Hmm? You know, Cynthia, it's so cool how you do all this stuff for the community and these kids. Yeah, right. Like I care. Get real, Preston. I'm only doing this junk so I can spend time with Benjamin. He's in college. Oh, man, I can't believe it. What? That she could be as shallow and self-serving as you were? Hey, I wanted to help. You wanted to help Cynthia, not these kids. Admit it. Yeah, pretty dumb, huh? No, it's just part of growing up. To quote the proverb, the only way around it is through it. Is that ancient Egyptian wisdom? No, it was proclaimed by the great modern scholar of greeting cards. Where is Armand? <laughs> he went back to the bakery, said something about getting his free sample. Hey guys, check this out. Imagine the sandwich I can make with this puppy. You put your left foot in, you put your right foot out. Doesn't sound like a gypsy to me. Then throw your head back and flip as you shout. Here! Now that sounds like a gypsy. Here! Mom's right. Fast food is unhealthy. I don't get it. This place was totally clean when I left last night. Yes, well, it's not my fault Beefy Burger is open 24 hours. Never fear. The solution is at hand. Behold, the Vaculuxor. Cool. Actually, it runs rather warm. Now, watch as the Vaculuxor invokes the righteous fury of the air spirit to conquer and enslave all dirt. Ah! Wow, my mom would love this. Ah! <laughs> All this no Why are you vacuuming the cat? It, it wasn't, wasn't our, our idea. idea. Brad, hit the stop button. Stop button. Hmm, an excellent idea. I shall invent that next. Shut that thing uh, off. With the strength of raw. Call a sucker punch. You know, Raph, if you could fix that little stop button problem, this would make a great gift for my mom. A vacuum? As a gift? <laughs> you have a lot to learn about women, young prince. I do? Are you implying my vacuoluxo would be an unwelcome gift? As a cleaning device, it sucks tremendously, Raph. Why, thank you. I think. But as a gift to a woman, it blows hot air. How would you know, Neff? You spent most of your life as a boy. And you've spent most of your life as a garbage disposal. I know all about women. Uh, guys, I hate to break up the party, but... Earthquake! Ah! 
It appears to be shifting with each new tremor. But the latest jolt originated in the Twin Peaks area of the city. Gab! Why is the Earth Spirit angry? That's what we have to find out. Wait till you hear the echo! Hello! What? That didn't sound right. Let me try again. No, my prince. Hello! Go away. Is it my imagination, or has Twin Peaks suddenly become triplets? We must respectfully appease the great Earth Spirit. Hey, Gab! Cool it with the earthquakes, will ya? They give me nightmares! Go away and leave me alone! Man, what a grouch! <laughs> Quick, my friends! Get in! Just we find out before he destroys the city. Keep a sharp watch out. He's liable to spring up anywhere. I think we just reached anywhere. Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? Gab, yeah, please stop! You're ruining our city! So... So... Well... I love this city. Oh, sure. Everybody loves San Francisco. But what about me? Who loves me? Hmm, sounds like a crisis of the heart. Huh? Girl trouble, I believe you call it. She left me. Can you believe it? My wife came all the way through the Western Gate just to get away from me. He's married to who? someone with rocks in his head to know anything! You don't roll down a hillside either, you know. You can get awful moody. First you're breezy, then you're blue. You're sunny, you're gloomy, you're overcast, you're bright. I never know what I'm gonna get with you. Oh, jeez. Now she's crying. I hate crying. So crazy! Uh, Geb, can we go somewhere else and talk about this? Geb! Are you here? <laughs> you know, Geb, you're a dangerous guy to have around. Get used to it, cause I ain't leaving here unless my wife goes with me. No problem. We'll help you. Uh, right guys? Uh, guys? Uh, yes, of course. In fact, 
when it comes to affairs of the heart, I am known as a master. I was married once. Really? And I am a woman. Hmm. Good point. And I uh, really like their cooking. So what do you say, Gab? Can we help you get Ned back? Sure. Great. Let's shake on it. Geb, are you there, Geb? <laughs> so, what you got that's gonna get my Nettie back? A bird? A songbird. The perfect companion for a woman of your wife's grace and beauty. A bird? Trust me. Here you go, Geb. So, uh, I should give her the bird? That's right. Hey, Sweetly, Geb. Call Sweetly. I brought you something, sweetie pie. More misery, no doubt. She's gonna love getting them off! Gap, no! 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 Stop! Thanks bunches, honey. I just don't get her. Nothing I do is right. It's not your fault, Geb. Chakal just doesn't understand women. The quickest way to a woman's heart is flowers. Flowers. Okay. Is this one good? Uh, well... Hey, Nettie! I got something for ya! I can hardly wait. Oh, it's lovely, Gab. I think she likes it. And I know just where to put it! Do you know what really stirs the soul of a woman, Geb? Uh, spoons? Oh, words, Geb. Words! Anyone can give me a present, but I will help you woo her back with beautiful words of poetry. Oh, yeah, poetry. I knew that. <clears throat> now listen to this. Your beauty is like... Oh, 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 oh wait! I know one! Nanny! Hey, Nanny! Oh, what is it now, Geb? I got a poem for you, honey bunny. Mmm, this should be interesting. Ahem. Roses are red. Violets um, are big. My wife's real pretty, but she eats like a... She heard that. I can't take much more of this. I'm getting ready to rumble! Take it easy, big fella. Our mom's in charge now. I'm gonna work your body into such good shape that your wife won't be able to resist you. No, no. Okay. But I'm not gonna jog. No way! We're gonna do some body sculpting! Well, what do you think? He looks strangely familiar. He looks like the Beefy Burger Boy! My hero! Does he look great or what? <laughs> yeah, do I look great or what? That's so funny. <laughs> you look like the beefy burger boy. Yeah, well, you're just a big windbag. Go put a rock in it. Go choke on smog. I've had it up to here with you, Gib. Goodbye.
Please, Gep, you gotta calm down. You're gonna destroy the whole city. You said you'd help me get Nanny back. So where is she? Hey, these things take time. You ain't got time. You bring my Nanny back to me before Ra wakes up in the east. Until sunrise? We'll never make it. Hmm. Perhaps if we appealed to Nit's reason. If she were reasonable, she never would have married that big dirt clod. We could just capture her and force her to go back to Geb. I have an idea that might work, but it means we'll have to bring the sky to the ground. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? about? Windbag at 12 o'clock. Royal Spirit, your husband Geb only wants to be with you. So he sends a pack of flying rags to plead his case? <laughs> your Highness, please be... Please be what? Oh, reasonable? I'll show you reasonable. <laughs> ah! Hit the pharaoh shoots! Let's get down to solid ground. Lots of luck! Well, that went better than I expected. We'll know very soon if our plan is going to work. If the idea was to get her to hate us instead of Gap, we are doing great. Can you go for a spin, mummies? Head for the top! Are you ready? Which works? Let me out! Geb! Get me out of this thing! Now, we must get this bag to Geb before she figures out a way to escape. Uh. Hurry, Nefertina! Hurry is my middle name! I thought you were going to make me sue. Geb! Geb! Help! Help! Look <laughs> what have you done to my nanny! She's right here, Geb. Now you can both go home. She's in that dirt bag? Nobody treats my wife like that. You do. Uh, your earthiness. So? You call her a windbag. Yeah, well... And you told her to choke on smog. I know, but... But... Jeez, I don't really mean those things. I, I just got a few rough edges sometimes. But Nettie understands me. She puts up with me because she knows how much I love her. Oh, honey, I love you too. Really? You love me, Nettie? Yes, Kim. Now get me out of here! Ain't she something? Oh, Geb, you finally said it. You finally said you love me. That's all I really wanted. Oh, baby, I'm sorry I treated you like dirt, but you gotta understand, I really like dirt. I know, and I could never resist an earthy guy. So I guess this means you won't be destroying San Francisco. Um, what do you think, babe? Not today. Let's go home, you big lunk. 
Oh, in the end, it was all so simple. We all should have known. No gift can compare to the simple pronouncement of love. Yeah. <sighs> I hope I find a love like theirs someday. I'm going to go home and give my mom a big hug. Hmm. They do look happy. Ah, oh, Geb. I'm sorry I called you a clod today. You called me a slob? Not a slob, dear. A clod. A clog? A clod, clod. Mm, that's not very nice. It wasn't meant to be nice, clay brain. Hey, I don't have to take that from an airhead like you. I'm an airhead? You're the one who never thinks. I think. Oh, really? What about that little escapade of yours in San Andreas? That wasn't my fault. Unless they pay me. You keep saying that. You got water in the brain or something? Just wait, you'll see. Empties! Hope you separated your glass in plastic. Cut the sarcasm. You can be recycled too, you know. How about a gross of cufflinks? Gross! Let's get this convoy rolling! Sorry, Scarab, but this road's closed. He should have worn his seatbelt. Ah! Smash them! What is this? Rush hour? Summon noon to water your lawn. Not unless you like mud. Why would Scarab need so many empty bottles? Maybe he wants to make terrariums, like Mr. Science did in the magic box.
What's up, Armand? Learning how to make another terrarium? What is a terrarium, anyway? Shh! Don't make fun of Mr. Science. See? He got mad and went away. Authorities remain puzzled as the city's water supply mysteriously dries up. The mayor has proclaimed a state of emergency and has ordered all citizens to conserve water until this mystery is solved. Noon! It has to be! He's stealing all the water! Rath, try to find a spell to send Noon back through the western gate. We'll take the Nihilator out into the bay and look for him. <laughs> Looks like Noon has stolen all the water. But why? Maybe he was thirsty. Talk about water shortage. Not only is the water shut off all over the city, but the stores are all out of bottled water. It's not even summer. I don't know where we're gonna get water. Hey! hey we we got water. 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 Sparkling clear, refreshing Nile Springs water, only a hundred dollars a bottle. A hundred dollars a bottle? That's outrageous! I've heard that voice before. <gasps> Scarab. The water, the soda bottles, it's all part of Scarab's plan. He's made the whole city depend on him for water, and he's naming his price. It's worse than that. Noon is helping Scarab, but I may have found a spell to get rid of Noon. Well, what are you waiting for? I want to test it, but we, um, but we don't have any water. Uh, what? Hey! Cola would work for a test. At least it's liquid. Hey, come on! It's my last one! Oh, great spirit of the air. I command you, lift up the waters! <laughs> huh? My cola! The spell works. Yeah, but I'm still thirsty. Now all we've got to do is find none. I think I've got an idea. Okay, girl, almost there. Now, all we do is follow the signal from Kadi's amulet. Looks like someone's trying to hide something. Maybe they're sandblasting. Why don't they just wait for a sandstorm? That's what we did in Egypt. I think I know where the water is. You and the prince keep watch from here. Everybody needs water, and we have it all. 
The law of supply and demand. We control the supply, and we make the demand. Can I, can I, can I? No. First, you've got to help Scarab finish his chores. Loot the city, crush the mummies, and capture Prince Rapses. Then you can destroy the city. No! I want to do it now! No, no, no! No. You'll follow the plan like a good little water spirit. Me? I can't follow a plan. I go with the flow. You'll do as you're told, or it's back through the western gate. No, not that! <laughs> Wait! Oh, no! No! <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> Somebody's tickling me! This is the weirdest building I've ever seen. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Let's get inside, quick. Use your sword, Rath. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> hey, look up! <laughs> How nice of you to drop in. Any last words before I have noon destroyed? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Let me destroy him! I'd like to say a few words. You great spirits of the air, I command you, lift up the waters! Huh? <laughs> that spell only works on carbonated water. It fizzled because noon doesn't. <gasps> Oops. Uh, is there anything else I don't have all night? How about a last meal? Uh, how about a last drink? <laughs> what have we here? We definitely need to improve quality control. <laughs> nice kitty. Looks like you're all washed up, Jakal. Finish them! All washed up, huh? Well... Time for the spin cycle! than a wet cat. <laughs> I've really put you guys through the rigor. You look so... <laughs> What's taking so long? I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling. It's good enough for me.
Pull yourself together and go after them! They really make my blood rise! I'll get them if it's the last thing I do! Well, easy come, easy go. It's only money. A mere pittance could have been worse. You had to mention it. Looks like we lost it. Nefertina, the bridge! If we can get Noon out of town, at least the city will be safe. Hey, dudes! Catch the wave! Find it difficult to flow uphill. Excuse me, look out! What can he come through? <laughs> difficult, but not impossible. Rapsies, what's beyond the mountains? Uh, Tahoe, Death Valley. Death Valley, that's it. We gotta go to Death Valley. Works for me. Evaporation. Can you say evaporation? Well, that's the last of noon. I don't know about you, but I'm thirsty. Oh, great spirit of the air, I command you, bring forth the waters! Mmm, it's better with ice. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, it looks like another quiet night in paradise. And I'm stuck on patrol. I'm gonna miss the whole convention. You uh, sure you want to go to that UFO deal? <laughs> yeah, a lot of those people seem kind of uh, different. But you'd be kind of different too if you were abducted by aliens or attacked by Bigfoot. That's what the third annual Paranormal Alien Visitor Psychic Convention and Brat Bust is all about. I am a regional treasurer. I should be there. Uh, you're uh, wearing a spaghetti trainer. It's the ceremonial headgear of my office. <sighs> I'm the only committee member who's never had a close encounter. Maybe, finally tonight, I'll see something strange. Ooh, you could try a mirror. Everyone, abandon this craft. Giving me the willies. No, oh, this is not good. We need to return to our sarcophagi soon to re energize, or I fear the consequences. No, oh, what consequences? We've been away a lot longer without recharging before. Exposure to the bay waters has weakened our wrappings, and they may disintegrate before we reach the Sphinx. Ah, oh, come on. What could happen, right? As best I can tell, we're several lengths away from the Sphinx. And the hot rod's back on the other side of the bay. I guess we're walking. I say we're running. The stars point us this way. Somewhere over there is home. And a snack. I'm hungry. We're all hungry, Armand. But I'm really hungry. I know that smell. It's so do I. You're starting to mildew. No. That oh. smell. Come on, no! I'd like a hot dog, merchant. Why, sure. Here you... Oh, go! I... I... I have no money. <laughs> hey, I'll work it off. You got anything you need lifted? I just wanted a hot dog. Hey, look out! <laughs> With the strength of raw! You saved my cart. Please, have a hot dog. Thanks. Uh, uh, can my friends have some too? F -f friends? <laughs> Gee, that guy sure was generous. He threw the hot dogs at us, Armand. Yeah, but he threw a lot. <sighs> you confirm my fears. Our bulking energies have been depleted. Yeah, and they've run out too. With the strength of raw! Our appearance is a problem. We need to find disguises that'll help us blend in more. Ah, these old clothes should do the trick. Ugh. I see why they tossed it. Armand, the point is not to draw attention. It's a statement. He's intoxicated. <laughs> then he shouldn't be driving. He won't be. Here, keys. Come on, come on. 
about wherever you are. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> A little late for Halloween, pal. Don't drink and drive! <sighs> Some people will go out in any condition. And his eyes were like this out there, and the flames were shooting, and... Oh, sure, fella. <laughs> shooting flames. <laughs> Another sighting, and I missed it! You don't really believe this guy, do you? It's my job to believe him. Help! Help! What's the problem, sir? Monsters in the park eating hot dogs. This may be my lucky night after all. Here's another coin. I'll get the hot rod and come back as fast as I can. I just wish we had enough money so we could all ride together now. We'll be fine, don't worry. We'll be under that shelter across the way. Raw be with you. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have exact change. But we will by the time this ride's over. Move it! Something's wrong. straight line. his pride. Can it, Wrath? That sidewalk is hard. Uh -oh. Come this way. <laughs> Arrest us. Take us to jail. Anything to get us away from those monsters. Another sighting. I never get to see anything. This may be the worst night of my life. I know exactly how you feel. I like this neighborhood better. We must get off these streets. We'll hide in here until the sirens stop. You here for open mic night? <laughs> yeah, I like the look. You're late, but I'll let you go on. Go on? You're confused about the time. Would we receive money for this? Yeah, if the crowd likes you, yeah. Now go. They will like us. What are you doing, Jacal? We don't even know what we're supposed to be doing. This money will buy us transportation back to the Sphinx.
think they expect us to play something. We had we had to jump out, and well, we got really wet. We we just wanted to go home. Uh, this guy threw hot dogs at us, and we gobbled them down. But we knew we were walking in the wrong part of town. I I tried to take the bus, and wouldn't you know, these two punks tried to grab me. But I gave them a show. Then we ran down this. Wow, Nefertina, you were great. Yes, your intonation was accurate, your phrasing was... Oh, you were great! Now let's go home. <laughs> he refused to stop because of our appearance. Oh, the arrogance. Jacob, run, quick! My arm. Jacob. We have to transport him home, now. If we don't, we may lose him. Does this help your arm? I... I think so. I'll feel a lot better back at the Sphinx. Yes, we all will. Follow me. But where are we going? Down there. Can you figure it out, Rath? Huh. I can figure anything out, Nefertina. Actually, these roots are remarkably like our own hieroglyphics. At last, some sign of intelligence. Turn! Come on, turn! Hey, it's stuck! Insert bills here for tokens to ride trains. Use this from our performance. It's okay. I figured it out. <clears throat> See? He's... he's right. That happens sometimes. No, no, you don't understand. They didn't just hop the turnstiles. They, well, their heads exploded. I mean, her head exploded. I think she's a she. I made a decision, Bob. I'm turning in my hat. Yeah, but you love being uh, that, uh, you know, whatever you are. Yes, but regional treasurer is a sacred honor. Uh, this is Patrol 19. The uh, third annual ahead, paranormal alien visitor psychic uh, uh, convention in Brat uh, Bus deserves someone who's had some kind of close encounter. <sighs> I'm not worthy. No, oh, yes, you are, my friend. There's been a report on some, uh, some monsters in the subway. Let's go! Someone's coming. We must hide ourselves. We haven't found anything, Bob. Uh, 
Hey in there, buddy. Yeah, you look around here. I'll, I'll check that last guy. I might as well come with you. There's nothing in here. sitting on some roof. Oh, this car was empty. Where'd you come from? Uh, up there. Up there? Like outer space up there? You're space aliens, right? I knew it, I knew it! Everyone, leave this place. Sphinx. Save yourselves. We can't leave you to that person. He thinks we are from to space. I know, and I know what to do. Now go! Eh, uh, Joe? What do you want with us? I'm Joe. I just want to be your friend. You know, bridge our two worlds, welcome you to Earth. Is that what you call this planet? We call it Lumat. Lumat? Is that right? Lumat. <laughs> I must leave you. This air uh, weakens me. Go, go. I understand. Space travel must be hard, huh? Ah! Go in peace, my space friend. Joe! Uh, uh, Joe, are you all right? Look, I, uh, I know it's late, but we could cruise by that convention of yours if you still wanted to go. Oh, yeah! I wouldn't miss it for anything on... Lumat. Lumat? Uh, what's that? What are you talking about? Their influence in the world is powerful. Mom says that's just superstition. People always doubt what they don't understand. If you wish on a star, it will come true. I'd have to be a wooden-headed idiot to believe that. Everybody knows it doesn't work. Oh, your wish will come true. But only if you wish on the right star. How do you ever find the right one? I didn't say it was easy. I wish. Oh, I wish. to win you, not lose you. I had no choice. It seems you have defeated me after all. No! Don't go back! <gasps> what was that? Armand, did you see something come through the western gate? I didn't see anything. <laughs> Except Shafties! I wish for a good fight. 
It's exactly what I wish for. And looks like I'm gonna get it! This way, to the hot rod! One scratch on the chariot and you'll have me to deal with. To your vehicles. Rapsies must not escape me this time. So. That you, boss? Of course it's me. Who else would have this number? Is everything ready? You bet, boss. Those mummies will get a bang out of this reception. Ready? Set? like this tunnel is under deconstruction. Look out! Uh, we're trapped! Surrender, Repsies, and I'll spare the mummies. Yeah, right, like we believe that. We fight it out right here. Destroy them, except for Repsies. We can smash through Scarab and his toy soldiers. Now, at least it's worth a try. My, there's quite an echo in here. That's no echo. Oh, sounds like motorcycles. <gasps> Hep, what are you doing here? Saving you. I hope you don't object. Why is Apep helping us? Maybe you should ask Nefertina. If someone gives you a horse, don't look at its teeth. Just why? Look out! This way. I love it when Nefertina plays hard to get. How did she lose us? I mean, she's good, but not that good. Next time you want to teach me about the stars, let's just go to the planetarium, okay? You are wise, Ed. Stay here, Sesh, and watch the house. The road to Nefertina's heart runs through Prince Rapses, or over him. Government uses Bigfoot as translator to talk to captured aliens held in Area 51. I knew it! And I bet those mummies we've been seeing are involved. It's all connected. All part of a secret plot, you know? Mm. Yeah, didn't these used to come with those little candy sprinkles on them? <laughs> Maybe that's part of a secret plot, too. <laughs> now, where's that twisty dope? <gasps> hey, did you see that? Uh, it's those mummies! Uh, they don't know about mummies. They sure saw those bikers. Let's go! <laughs> We're losing them! Ah. Hang on! Okay, hold it right there! I wondered where I put that. Bob, you all right? Oh. 
Thanks to your lack of skill, we've lost Nefertina. But I think I know where I'll find her. Get back to the House of Rhapsies and try and drive right this time. Joe! Joe, they got me! I've been hit! I'm blind! <sighs> Whoa, what happened? It's all part of a plot, I tell you, all part of a plot. I think I could sleep for a thousand years. You've already slept for 3,500. Yeah, and it seemed like I just fell asleep. Rest well, Nefertina. Is that any way to treat me after I saved you from Scarab? What are you doing here? This is our spot. I knew you'd come here. You know what I mean. Why did you come back through the Western Gate? You wished for it. I did not! I only wished for... Well, for... Someone to love you. I still want you to be my queen. That's what you said last time. No tricks this time. Be my queen. I... I can't. Hey, you want me to crawl? Okay, I'll crawl. <laughs> you really know how to impress a girl, but it doesn't help to remind me what a snake you are. Hey, I never said I was perfect. So how about it? Come through the Western Gate with me. I'm sworn to guard Prince Rapses. As long as he lives, my life belongs to him. <laughs> Women. Don't let Rapsy stand in our way. You're not an ordinary woman, and I am not an ordinary man. We belong together. No one else can love you like I do, and you know it. <laughs> I guess you really have fallen for me. Maybe you'll let Rapsies come between us. But I won't. It was a brilliant plan, Scarab. It almost worked, too. You'll get it next time, for sure. I had him. I had him right where I wanted him. Then he had to show up again. That, that... Yeah. I thought you might be a little down after our encounter. Thought I'd cheer you up in person. Only one thing could cheer me up, and that's... Rapsies. I can deliver him to a place where even you can capture him. I'm feeling better already. <gasps> Thank you. 
in the city. Oh, oh, I know, I know. She's hunting for food. She's hungry. No, it's a falling star. A comet? Uh, whatever it is, Rapsies must be in danger or Cotty wouldn't be here. <laughs> She's telling us where Rapsies is. A ship? Yes, a ship out of water. We must break the rules! behind this somehow. Oh, it's all my fault. Pep, what have you done? It wasn't supposed to happen this way. I was going to rescue Rapsies. For you. A touching scene. But you'll pardon me if I don't stay for the conclusion. I've got a ship to catch. Bon voyage! Oh. Ah, I just love an ocean voyage. Makes me feel young again. We've got to stop Scarab! Your ship has sailed, Jakal! Please, Nefertina, let me help. You've helped enough already. I love you, and I'll do anything to make you love me. Just give me a chance to learn how. I've got to get Rapsies back. Then we'll do it together.
such a snake after all. Don't let a boy get away. No, not that way. Are you all right? Thanks for saving my life. I didn't do it for you. I did it for Nefertina. Uh, get Rapsies out of here. I think Scarab's got other ideas. Get them. Bring Rapsies to me. Rapsies! Tina, take Ramses to safety. Now, Nefertina. Guard him well, my love. Scarab will be back when the Western Gate opens again. Wrath was right. Wishes do come true. He just didn't say they can break your heart when they do. Save the world today, the Egyptian way, the world. 